Yeah, some of you sent us messages asking about the term at risk. And so what we want to do is clarify what medical organizations mean when they say someone is at risk for coronavirus. I'd like to talk to you about risk. Higher risk, depending on the risk profiles. When health leaders talk about the risk of COVID-19, it's usually not the risk of catching the virus in the first place. Right now, anyone who comes in contact with the virus can become infected. When the CDC talks about higher risk, they mean the people who are more likely to become severely, even deathly ill if you're infected by COVID-19. And there are two main factors that increase your risk of the virus making you severely ill. The first is your age. There's no exact percentage for every single birthday. Again? But they have noticed a tipping point where the danger goes up after your 50s. Starting at 60, there is an increased risk of death and the risk increases with age. The highest risk of serious illness and death is in people older than 80. The evidence shows most cases in children are mild, but that comes with the danger of a sick child healthy enough to spread the virus to grandparents and older relatives. This is a disease that is tr um, transmitted very similar to the flu through respiratory droplets. The other main factor that makes you higher risk is if you already have other health problems. COVID-19 is a respiratory illness, so people who already have a lung disease are more likely to have severe symptoms and complications if they're infected. There are other types of underlying illnesses like heart disease and diabetes, um, lung problems, that kind of thing. And again, 80% of the cases are mild, but your age and your existing health can increase your odds of a severe illness. And right now, the coronavirus is still so new in our country. We're still building data for the U.S., so most of these stats, they come from China, where the virus has been around long enough to study the effects. Robin. All right.